God, please allow your Holy Ghost to, to speak through me. Ask in your name, Lord, and for your sake, amen. Amen. Today I want to talk about faith, hope, and love. I'm going to read a scripture, 1 Corinthians 13.13, 13, and then talk about how I believe God ties together faith, hope, and love. And he says, out of these, love is the greatest. But I think it's very important because people, because they're being taught evolution in the schools, our young people, and because they've kicked God and prayer out of the schools, there's really, they're creating people that have no real hope because the only hope comes from Jesus Christ. If, you, if there's no Jesus in your life, if there's no Jesus in your life, there's no hope. And if you have Jesus in your life as your Savior, you have true hope. And He'll build a hedge around you to protect you so that you will never get so depressed that you lose all hope. 1 Corinthians 13.13 13 says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. And I believe the reason God says that the greatest of these is love is because in John, in 1 John 4, in 1 John 4, 19, the Bible says we love because God first loved us. When we have Jesus as our Lord and Savior, it makes us want to learn more about God's Word. And the Bible says the Holy Spirit will teach you in all things. So we, as we read God's Word, we ask the Holy Spirit to teach us. We're going to learn more and more about God and about who He is. And as it's, you know, after we're saved, God protects us. He builds a hedge around us to protect us from Satan. As it says in John 10.10, 10, Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy us. But because God has built a hedge of protection around us, the devil can't do that anymore because we're protected by Jesus Christ because, because He's our Savior. Now, as our love for God grows and we read more and we read more and more of God's Word under the direction of the Holy Spirit, our faith is going to get stronger because it says in Romans 10, 17, because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So as you read the Word of God, your hearing improves and your faith comes from your hearing of the Word of God. So your faith gets stronger like building up a muscle. And as your faith builds, your hope in God builds. Because Hebrews 11.1 1 says that faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith gives substance to things hoped for. It is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So as our hope in God builds through our faith building, we're able to freely receive the fruits of the Spirit that are mentioned in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. We get the love, the joy, the peace. You know, we're long-suffering, gentle. We have goodness and we have, our faith is built even more. We get what God says is the peace which passeth all understanding. The peace which passeth all understanding. And basically, that means that no matter what comes at us, because the Lord Jesus has built a hedge around us, we can handle it. We never get to the point anymore that we get so depressed we feel like there's no way out and no hope. And it's very important in this world the way it is today to have true hope through God so we can get through it without doing something foolish like t committing, committing suicide or to feeling that we have no way out. Because there's too many people, especially... Even younger people today that do that. And I pray that every young person, every person of any age, will accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Because that's where you get your hope. Just remember, when you turn away from God, I don't care which way you turn, you turn to darkness. God, I hope something I said helps someone. I ask it in your name, Jesus, and for your sake. Amen. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy 
my name Thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth As it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread And forgive us our trespasses As we forgive them the trespass against us Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Father, I thank you that you have heard me and I know that you always hear me. Faith is just breath away. Our Father who art in heaven, how it be thy name. How it be thy name. The Lord is my shepherd, 